Welcome back, everyone. It's your favorite host, Travis Manley, with another edition of the CHS Short Report. And on today's episode, we have an interesting interview with our very own Mrs. Sanchez. Also, the second edition of the weekly update. And finally, a look at some sports going on around the school. So now let's take a look at that interview with our very special teacher. Hello, Shamat. Hi, I'm Travis Manley, and I'm here with Mrs. Sanchez, a freshman English 1 teacher. How are you, Mrs. Sanchez? I'm fine. How are you today? I'm doing good. So, explain to me what your course is and how it helps students get better at reading. I teach English 1 to students who have some difficulties, and we work on reading strategies to help them improve their reading, and also they can take the strategies into other courses. That's wonderful. So, how long have you been teaching this class? I've been teaching this class for seven years. Really? Okay. And how can you tell if your students have been improving or not over the year? Well, we give a progress monitoring. We give a test at the beginning of the nine weeks, and they take the same test again at the end of the nine weeks, and that'll tell me if they're growing in certain areas. Okay, well, that's wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Now I'm here with Haley Tessitor. How are you, Haley? I'm good. So how do you like Mrs. Sanchez as a teacher overall? She's my favorite. Okay, and how can you tell if you've been improving over the year? Um, my report card. Really? Your report card? <laughs> okay. What kind of things do you do in her class? Uh, we read um, for one minute. Uh, she reviews a lot with us for uh, some tests and, you know, stuff like that. All right. Well, that's wonderful. Wow. Mrs. Sanchez is doing some great work across the street. Next, we have the second weekly update with Shea Pat and Sarah Nunez. Good morning, I'm Sarah Nunez. And I'm Shay Patton, and here are this week's top stories. In Beijing this week, the community came together to celebrate love, puppy love. The area hosted a 21-couple doggy wedding. The couples were said to have honeymooned at PetSmart. This weekend, the very anticipated horror film Unfriended hits theaters. While the movie is expected to hit big in the box office, Skype sales are expected to drop significantly. This week in the UK, two partygoers, Joe Tobin and Jacob Church, found themselves trapped in a bank for five hours. After much effort from the local fire department, the men were set free. Suspiciously, the two finished paying their college tuition two days later. Coincidence? In Dubai this week, a man dubbed the French Spider-Man scaled a 75-foot tower in just 70 minutes using only sticky tape and grip chalk. So for those of you who are undecided in your future careers, superhero is still an option. This past weekend, the very popular music festival Coachella took place. Filled with rose gardens, selfie sticks, and hipsters, the festival was a success with a very shocking ending. During their duet performance, iconic singer Madonna planted an unexpected kiss on popular rapper Drake. When asked about the risque finale, Madonna simply said, YOLO. Recently, Zayn Malik, member of boy band supergroup One Direction, announced that he will be leaving the band. Rumored to be working on a solo project, Zayn's departure created an uproar within the fandom. But as a reassurance to One Direction fans, many boy band fangirls have survived tragic breakups, such as the Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, and more recently the Jonas Brothers. But if you or someone you know is suffering from PFS or post-fangirl syndrome, please contact 1-800-1-D-FOR-LIFE. Well, that's all for this weekly update. I'm Sarah Nunez. And I'm Shay Patton. Have a nice day. Finally, we have sports with Timmy Lanou. Hello, I'm Tim Lanou. And this year, we all know our baseball team has done exceptionally well. They are currently 24-6-1 and 7-0 and in district and they are currently ranked 50th in state. And now to Emilio Polinar with some of the team members. I'm with senior baseball player Randy Azevedo. So Randy, how long have you been playing baseball? I've been playing since I was like five or six. What's your position? I play right field and relief pitcher. So what's been like all the recent success on the baseball team so far? You know, we all, we've been just practicing hard. We just try to do a job. Everybody got a job to do and just get the best results of every game. What is your record, if, any, if anyone doesn't know? It's 13-3. and three. Who's been your toughest opponent all year? We treat every opponent the same. There's no toughest because we just put all on the field and get the best results out of it. I heard you had a grand slam recently. How did that feel? 
I mean, it felt good, but everybody did a job, got on base, and I tried to put the ball in play, and it just so happened to go over. Now we're seeing a baseball player, Shane Cezanne. So, Shane, what position do you play? Oh, I play pitcher. Um, how long have you been playing baseball? Since I was uh, seven years old. So, like, do you know any, like, reason why the baseball team been having so much success this year? Because, like, we're all putting in a lot of work, and we all have the same goal in mind, and we all just want to watch each other uh, improve and do good. Who's been your toughest opponent all year? Um, probably St. Thomas Moore. They were, like, nationally ranked, and we lost to them. But it was a close game. And I, I think after that game, that's what's got us really hyped, and that's the reason we're doing really good. Any more tough opponents coming up? Um, Holy Cross in a few days, but I think we can get them. Thank you. I'm a West Senior baseball player, Millie Blaze. So, what position do you play? I uh, play short stop. Um, what's been the reason for y'all's success this year? Uh, we've really been working hard together, and our offensive pressure, hitting, running bases, has been well. We've really started to, you know, come together as a team and just work hard. Who's been your toughest opponent all year? All year so far, our toughest opponent has been St. Thomas Moore, but we should have a, another hard one coming up uh, against Holy Cross on March 30th. Good luck. Well, that's it. Thank you. The track and field team successfully defended their district title. They won district for the second year in a row with strong showings from Jamila Nelson, Gabrielle King, Mario Powell, Anthony Deal, Warren Williams, Dominic Kirill, Zeke Kersey, and Jalen Scott. Overall, Gabrielle King was the girls' field MVP. Well, that looks like the final inning of this episode. I'm Travis Manley, and we'll see you next time.